It's one of the most horrible crash scenarios. A passenger car colliding with a lorry and getting stuck under the lorry's tail. A barrier mounted to the lorry's tail, an underrun protection system, became a mandatory requirement to prevent this. But does this system really prevent car occupants from sustaining very severe injuries? ADAC engineers conduct a crash test at the Landsberg Crash Facility. Firstly, the testers install the underrun protection system in compliance with the EU requirements. It should withstand up to 10 tons of mass. The car will hit the lorry's tail at exactly 56 kilometers per hour. Ideally, the barrier will decelerate the car so that the airbags and safety belts prevent serious injuries. But this is precisely not what we observe in the test. The car gets stuck under the lorry's tail as if the lorry were not equipped with an underrun protection system at all. The result of the crash test is sobering. This really problem wird nicht gelöst. The real problem remains unsolved. The problem is the mounting to the vehicle frame. There, the underrun protection system must withstand up to 10 tons, which is much too low a figure in the case of an impact. Looking under the lorry is proof enough, as the screws were obviously ripped off upon impact. The lorry's tail becomes a death trap. In plain language, this means that the legal requirements for underrun protection systems are much too lax to protect car occupants. Therefore, ADAC engineers have developed their own underrun protection system that eliminates the weaknesses identified, barrier position and mounting. Compared to the standard underrun protection system, our system features lower ground clearance, that is, 100 millimeters less between the system's bottom line and the ground, and we increased rigidity by equipping the system with additional brackets. Two modifications compared with the legal requirements, but two life-saving ones. It's obvious that the cabin has remained stable, allowing the vehicle restraint systems, the airbags and the seat belts to provide maximum protection, and that the occupant's injury risk mainly depends on the car's performance rather than the lorry's underrun protection system. Bottom line of the ADAC test. Yes to underrun protection systems, but a definite no to the existing EU directive. The latter needs to be amended, because if we want effective underrun protection systems that reduce such impact of rear-end collisions on our roads, we need to improve them.